What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Michael Nat Fishing. We are in the, well, I guess the new boat house. Uh, we're back in the old boat. I don't even know. We're, we've got the Falcon back up where I used to put the Nitro. We've made some modifications up here to kind of get the boat up here a little bit easier for me. So we're bringing you all another video uh, from the modifications, tips and tricks video series, whatever in the world we're calling it. Uh, I've got a couple of them picked out that I really wanted to uh, share with you guys because it's stuff that I use that I get some comments on some photos that people see. They're like, what is that? Does it really matter? Does it work? So today we're diving into treble hooks and this is actually going to be um, a three part series um, over the next three, starting today, you'll have this series, this video in the series, and then the next two Tuesdays will all be kind of the treble hook series that we're going to do of the modifications. I can actually call that one a series, uh, but kind of uh, treble hook modifications to the to the treble hook baits. What we do to different treble hooks for the baits that are treble hooks. So I know that's a mouthful, but anyway, guys, we're going to start today off with uh, a treble hook that I really enjoy. Uh, but uh, let's roll that intro and then we'll get into it. Uh, this this is a modification that I really really love. Um, this is the VMC uh, bladed treble. You see that little willow uh, willow blade down here. It is on a very small swivel down here, so it does spin. I'm having a very difficult time trying to get my finger to spin it, but uh, as you can see, it does spin. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work either. Um, it, it's a very very small willow blade, but. It looks absolutely juicy in the water. Um, VMC came out with these, uh, I wanna say a year or two ago. Uh, Mike Iaconelli was a big proponent of promoting it. He absolutely loves them for his, you know, he's a crazy modifier. He does all kinds of modifications on his baits and stuff. But um, as far as the actual hook goes, it's a very, very stout hook. I know a lot of people, when we talk about uh, hook modifications, they're like, well, I don't want to go down to a light wire, smaller hook, even though it may look bigger or the EWG styles and whatnot. A lot of people are very uh, cautious about their hooks and what they do with them. So this was like a really, really good uh, 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 balance between a stout treble hook with a finesse modification like this little treble hook then it really gives it a very nice look through the water. So, I've actually got one rigged up already that I'm gonna grab out of my lure lock boxes for you guys and kind of show it to you and then we'll go into what you can do with this. So hang on just a second. All right guys, so I know this is uh, gonna be kind of frowned upon by a lot of people because this is a mega bass jerk bait. This is the uh, 110 plus one. That might actually be the plus two, hang on. No, that's the 110 plus one. So I know everybody just really, really frowns upon modifying these baits uh, because they think they're just perfect coming out of the box and they are really good coming out of the box. But I break the treble hooks all the time. So I went ahead and put new treble hooks on it and I wanted to add a little bit of flash to it. Check out that back treble hook. I actually added on that uh, uh, BMC, uh, bladed treble there. Um, the treble hook is a little bit stout for, for a jerk bait. Um, so I did kind of beef up my line a little bit. Uh, I went from 10 pound to 12 pound. Um, and I was okay with that because it is a plus one. It gets a little bit deeper anyway. Um, so that line just kind of balances it out and uh, really allows me to be able to set that hook just a little bit better with this treble. Now, jerk baits aren't the only thing that you can do it with. Crank baits, top waters, Anything with a treble hook, you can do it with. Now, a lot of people say they prefer to put it on the front, and I, I do like it on the front bait. I like it up there as well. Uh, but for the, the particular situation that I was in, 
I wanted this bait to slowly level out. And usually it sits about like this in the water and it's really good about suspending. I wanted it to sit more like this and kind of just very, very subtly fall down. And that's what I was able to get out of this hook. It actually made it a lot more straight. Instead of sitting like this, it made it go like this and it fell straight down. So that, that was the reason why I put that treble hook on there. But the treble hook itself draws just an incredible amount of, of attention to itself because as you pop this bait and jerk it, this treble hook stays out to the back. And, and I think a lot of people don't understand the way the baits work in the water. When you're jerking your jerk bait along, your treble hooks, I'm, I'm gonna try and do this without getting a treble hook in my hand. Your treble hooks are like glued to your bait like this, okay? When you jerk it, that's where the treble hooks go. They go to the back of the bait. Your treble hooks don't hang like this the entire time when you're jerking it. They actually go backwards some along the bait. So as this one is backwards like this and I jerk it along, this little willow blade is just spinning and putting off all kinds of reflection and jazz. You will not believe how many fish I caught on the back treble because that's what they were going after. And I may not have actually caught those fish if it weren't for this blade. I know a lot of people are gonna say, well, if you didn't have the blade, they might've attacked the entire body. That's correct. If the blade wasn't on there, they might've attacked the entire body. But I went like three hours without a bite on this thing. When I added the, the VMC bladed treble, I then was getting bit on the back treble. Yes, it was on the back, but nonetheless, I was still getting bit. Now. What all can we do that to? We can add it to our favorite crankbaits. We can add it in place of a feather. That's really an interesting concept that um, I haven't really gotten to explore a whole lot. I have tried it and I did catch a few fish on it because essentially what, what is the feather doing? The feather is just enticing a little bit extra action on the base. It's just adding a little bit of extra action, enticing those fish to come up and look at it. What happens is when the feather is in the water and it, it, you pop it, it comes through and it goes slick and then it kind of puffs. That's all the feather does. Well, the blade gives off a shine continuously. So they kind of do the same thing in two different scenarios, I guess. Um, it's all about finding that, that, that perfect opportunity with them. Um, and I, they're definitely not interchangeable. I haven't actually found the exact time that the, the blade works better than the feather or vice versa. Um, but definitely something to keep in mind. Um, another time that I love to use it is with my big old walking baits. Um, a lot of your bigger walking baits, like the pencil poppers, they come with feather, uh, or I'm sorry, with a fe yeah, with feather treble hooks on there. I like to add the blade back there instead for those that don't come with a feather on the back. I'll throw a blade back there or I'll add on a feather, but I like to throw the blade back there and sometimes I'll actually put the blade up front and it gives it a little bit more to uh, kind of shine on and hone in on when you're throwing these big walking top water baits. Anyway, guys, like I said, I was gonna make these videos. I didn't want, I wanted to go like super, super long on these videos. Uh, I was trying to get that blade out to show you guys again. But uh, the, the VMC bladed treble is definitely a, a, a fun modification that you can do with your baits. Uh, they work really well. Um, and it's something different to give those fish a different look, especially in some, some finesse situations that you don't necessarily wanna go 100% finesse but you want to try and maybe draw a little bit more attention to your baits. The bladed treble is a great way to go with it. I really love that bait. And you can modify literally any treble hook bait you can modify with this. And I absolutely love that. You can even put it on small swim baits, stuff like that. Your glide baits, your big swim baits. Uh, you know, you can put these things anywhere. They make all kinds of different sizes for it. And the bait is just absolutely a, a, a fun and phenomenal bait to have. Guys, if y'all like these videos, do me a huge favor. Go down there, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know, have you used the VMC bladed treble? I wanna know down there, tell me. Tell me where y'all are fishing, if you've had success with it. Take care, guys.